All right, let's look at this one. Uh, and so this one, we're gonna see that it matters how you cut it. Now, now almost every time that I'm gonna give it to you, I'm gonna assume that we're cutting it uh, perpendicular to the long axial direction. So, so I don't really specify. Uh, we're skip, we skip that from, but point C, we cut it right there. You know, point D, we cut it right there. We always cut it perpendicular to the long axial direction. But this one, it specifies, and it says, hey, what, what happens when you cut it at AA versus what happens when you cut it at BB? Do we get the same N, V, and M? I don't know. What do you think? Well, let, let, let's, let's look at it and let's see. So <clears throat> I'm going to look at the whole free body diagram. I'm going to look at the whole free body diagram. And you know what? I'm, I'm thinking ahead, and I think I'm only going to look at this side of it. I don't really care about AY and AX. I only care about this, I'll call it BX right here. I only care about this BX. So from the whole free body diagram, do you see that, that summing the moments about A, AX goes straight through it, AY goes straight through it. I've got this five kilonewtons that's 4.5 away, creating a negative moment. And then I've got this BX, its perpendicular distance, would be what six and uh, we're lucky it's 45 degrees don't have to worry too much about it but six it, it should be sine 45 uh equals zero so there we go we would get bx is 5.3 kilonewtons and i'm not even going to solve for x and AY. it wouldn't be too much more work uh but you know the more of these you do the more you realize that hey maybe you don't have to look at the whole free body diagram or maybe you look at the whole free body diagram but only look at the sum of the moments equation. That, that's really what usually happens is generally you might could look at the whole free body diagram some months about this point in order to get this force and then throw this away. All right, so first let's cut it at AA. So cut it here at AA. And what do I have on this side? I have the five kilonewtons. Um, this is 1.5 meters, 1.5 meters away. I've got 5.3 kilonewtons, and this is a 45 degree angle, all right? So this N is out of the cut. I kind of tilted my head, you know, to the left, 45 degrees, I guess. V should be up, and M should be rotating that way. So now, mm, you know, I was about to sum the forces in that XY, but... It looks like more forces than not. The, it looks like these three forces are aligned along these axes. And then I would only have to take care of one. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these as my x, y axes. Your axes are separate from positive sign convention. And you can choose. Why, why can you choose your own axes? Because you're summing the forces equals to zero. So, you know, if everything is positive, everything is negative, um, you know, your, your equation might be a little different from mine, but we would get the same answers. So let us use, all right, there's my X. So summing the forces in that X would be negative N. And then here I need that component. Now that's 45 degrees. So uh, can't go wrong. Yeah, that would be whatever, you know, angle that is, is the angle that. All right, so uh, this would also be negative 5.3 cosine 45 equals zero. So N negative 3.75 kilonewtons. Box that in, All right? Box that in. Let's sum the forces in the Y direction. Here's my Y direction. So V is pointed that way. Five is pointed that way. And then this component would be pointed up. Pop positive 5.3 sine 45, right? Positive 7.3, 5.3 sine 45. So this V would be positive 1.25 kilonewtons, all right? And then summing the moments, I like some moments about the cut. N goes straight through it, V goes straight through it. I've got this, I'm gonna choose counterclockwise is positive. So negative M, uh, this five, this 5 is acting 1.5, 1.5 away, creating a 
um, also negative moment. And this component goes straight through the cut, but this component, the 5.3 sine 45, 5.3 sine 45 is acting three meters away, creating a, um, creating a positive moment. Set that equal to zero, I'll get M is negative 3.75 kilonewton meters. And so that, those are my answers for N, V, and M if I cut it at C and if I cut it along the A, A line. All right, would they change if I had cut them along the B, B line? Let's see. Let's draw this. So here's my cut. Well, let me not draw it too close. There's my cut. All right, I still have 5.3 kilonewtons right there. I still have the 5 kil kilonewtons right there. Now, N is always out of the cut, perpendicular to the cut. So now my N would be that direction. I think that's going to change my N, isn't it? Now my V would be that direction. I think these might change. Now my M is going to be that direction. And now, you know, I still could choose that as my XY, but now I think it makes a little bit more sense. So wait, I, I could define my XY like along the rotated axes like I did last time. But now I've got three aligned along the usual horizontal and vertical. So I'm going to keep the horizontal and vertical as my axis. So I'm going to sum the forces in this x direction. Negative 5.3, negative n. All right, let me be careful here. Let's see. Of course, you know, I'm lucky that it's just a 45 degree angle. Uh, this is perpendicular to the beam. The beam is 45 degrees from horizontal, so this is 45 degrees from vertical, but of course 45 degrees, you can't go wrong there. Uh, so, but anyway, so this would be a 45 degree angle. And so this is also 45. So this would be five, let's see, positive five cosine 45. Let's say sine 45. Well, I mean, technically it would be sine of that angle, that angle. Again, 45 degrees, we can't go wrong. I really should do like a 30 degree problem or something to make sure y'all can get these angles right. This vector right here is perpendicular to this bar. And this bar is 45 degrees from horizontal, so this vector is 45 degrees from vertical. All right, set that equal to zero, and then I've got my N is negative 1.77 kilonewtons. I leave it negative, box it in. Is it different? Yeah, yeah, it, it is different. It is, so it matters how you cut your beam. It matters what it's feeling along this cut versus what it's feeling along the other cut. All right, and then the uh, summing the forces, summing the forces in the Y direction, V, and then minus 5 cosine 45 equals 0. So V would be 3.54 kilonewtons. All right, different. And then summing the moments. I like some moments about the cut. V goes straight through it. M goes straight through it. I've got, sorry, V goes straight through it and M goes straight through it. But I've got that M. I'm going to choose positive counterclockwise. Um, negative M. So I've still got this 5 that was, whoops, was 1.5. 5 right here was 1.5 away, right? Don't overcomplicate this. Go back to this being right there, and its perpendicular distance is this 1.5, uh, creating a negative moment. And then the other one, five point, I could break it up into those components, or I could just take that times its perpendicular distance. Uh, either way, I'm going to get 5.3 uh, sine 45 times 3, or 5 times 3 sine 45. You see how that would be the same. Set that equal to 0, and I've got an M of negative 3.75 kilonewton meters. So actually, the moment, it doesn't matter the orientation that you cut it. Its internal moment is, you know, its internal moment. Uh, but the V and the N will change um, if you cut it at a different angle. 
All right? So I think that's enough problems for you to, you know, know the process. What's the process? Look at the whole free body diagram. If you need to, or maybe look at one equation for the whole free body diagram, cut it, draw N, V, and M in the positive sign convention, and then you've got your three equations for, you know, for that part that you cut. And you've thrown away the other half. You've kind of replaced the other half with the N, V, and M. Solve for it. If your answer comes out negative, leave it negative. <clears throat> right? If your answer comes out negative, leave it negative. All right.